This is a griffin. A griffin is an ancient creature from Greek mythology with the body of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle. Griffins are often associated with the god Apollo and are considered a majestic creature symbolizing strength, courage, and wisdom. Hello everybody, don't you guys love getting a little bit of Greek mythology in this game? This mod was made by the ex Argoli team, so let's get right to it. So let's look into our subspecies right quick. This is our default griffin. It's got a pretty nice lethal body. Doesn't feel too much like a lion. Like it feels a lot smaller. Like it has the body of maybe a leopard. But other than that, not bad. Love the face here. Our next one is Corvus. The beak is not hooked. It's a lot straighter and the ears have taller tufts. It looks like the wings are a little bit bigger here as well. Our next one here has shorter rounder ears here. They went back to the shorter hooked nose and the tail tuft on the tail is shorter than it was in our previous subspecies. Then we're back to our default. Let's check out the female skin right quick. It is exactly the same. It doesn't look like we have one. I can't tell any difference. I don't know if you guys can, but let's go through the calls right quick. First up, we have broadcasts. <laughs> That's your stereotypical kind of bird call, but you can hear they added a little bit of like a cat's roar underneath it. Two call. I like that one. That's pretty cute. Threaten. <laughs> Oh, they do the little cat scratch jump emote with a little bit of the ears pointing back. Kind of is the far more cat like than bird like, I'll say. War call. Oh, I like that. I think it was a little too short of an animation for me. I would have liked it to be a little bit longer. Talk. That's pretty nice. Shake. Oh, stretching those wings a little bit. Very nice. Stretch. Oh, back legs and we stretch those wings. Perfect. Very, very nice. And then our invite is going to be the same as our two call. All right, everybody, here's the baby model. I'm in love with the baby model. It is super cute. It does kind of just look like a shrunk down adult, but it's still like it's so tiny and the skin for it is almost perfect, honestly. But let's go through the calls right quick. First up is broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still that uh, bird call with the cat sound underneath it, but it's much shorter and much more squeaky. So it goes much better, I think, for the baby sounds. Two call. Just as good. It sounds pretty much the same as the adult. Threaten. I like it. Very fitting. Four call. It looks nice. Like I said, would like it to be a little bit longer. Talk. A little chitter there. I like it. Shake. Very good. Stretch. Wow. Fantastic. The stretch emote just looks so good. Let's do some of the animations right quick. First, we got our walk. It's kind of like a slow run for the baby, at least. You can kind of see like they want to run, but it's not really does look a little awkward. Uh, actual run. Uh, the way the back legs work is very similar to the Smilodon mod. You can definitely see that. It's something I noticed about that mod that you can definitely see here. Um, and let's see if we can fly real quick. <gasps> Whoa, there we go. Oh, it looks fantastic. It looks so good, guys. And it was really easy to take off. I didn't have to do a really long run up for it. Turning in circles and everything. Let's see if we land. Very easy. Awesome. All right, guys, here's the adult model. It really looks just like so majestic. I can see why people were enamored with it in like Greek mythology. It just really, really looks cool. It's one of those few times where, you know, meshing an animal and another animal together comes out right. But let's go through the animations right quick. Here's our adult walk. It does look better than the baby. I will tell you that. It has a lot more smooth animation to it. Let's do our run. The wings flare out a little bit when we're running. It's decent speed. We're not super slow. 
but we're not, you know, the fastest. Pretty nice. Let's fly right quick. There we go. It's really fast. We ascend super fast. And then we're just chilling here. Very nice. It just looks really great. The diving works very well. Look at that. Look how smooth we turn in place like butter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The flying for Griffin is very, very nice. All right, let's do our precise movement. Here we go. It's actually pretty fast on land. I thought maybe it would be a little bit slower, but it's not. So to our left, it's an OK side shuffle to our right. Backing up, backing up is slow. Oh my gosh, that's torture. It still turns fast, though, so that's a plus. Let's see if we can crouch. We can. Looks pretty nice. Crouch walk. It kind of looks like the regular walk. I don't know. I feel like this should look a little bit different when you're doing the crouch, at least for the front claws. Let's see if we can jump. Oh, nice jump. That jump was excellent. I like that a lot. Looks really nice. Let's take a seat. We spread those wings out and then we settle our body and curl those front claws up. Looks very nice, very dapper. Sleep. Oh, we just tuck our head under our wing. It's super cute. Tail curls up as well. Get up. It's pretty quick. I like that. You're not going to get stuck too long if you're attacked. Here's our disturb burrow animation. It's really just checking it out kind of cautiously. We're scraping with one paw or talon. Here's our eating animation. Puts a talon on it. It's kind of high above. I don't know if that's because I'm on a rock or what that's all about. But it does eat like a bird. So that's pretty cool. And I love the blood mask on the beak there. And here's our drinking animation. And there goes the blood mask. It's very nice. It's very much like a bird. So I like it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Here's our swim animation. We use our wings to kind of help push us along. It's pretty slow. So I definitely wouldn't get caught in the water. You're pretty much dead at that point, probably. Even our speed swim, while a little bit faster, is not fast enough to save you from any aquatics. All right, let's go through these skins right quick. This is the default male skin. There is no female skin. Next, we have Cardinal. Wow, that looks really good. I love that. Osprey, Urban, Multipunctata, Bearded, Red-Tailed, Barbet, Magpie, Fledged, Warbler, Kestrel, Jaguar, Falconet, Sapsucker, Borean, Starling, Arctic, Leucistic, and Melanistic. Ooh, the skins, whoever did the skins in this, you did a fantastic job. These skins are awesome. I love these skins. I love them so much. Let's check out the abilities right quick. Here's our extra senses slots. We have plus stamina recovery, plus bleed damage, minus incoming damage, so plus defense, and then standard, which is our balanced. Then we have one head slot. We have Peck, which causes medium damage. Rip and tear, a delayed bite that does medium damage in high bleed. Okay. Senses, we do have Herald of Horse, increases damage and bleed by 15% when flying. Prometheus Ward, increases damage and bleed by 15% when grounded. Steed of the Sun God, increases health and stamina recovery during daytime. These are all really good. I would use any one of these. Front limb, we have claw attack, claw attack that causes bleed. Aerodynamic wings gain 10% increased turning while flying, but drastically decrease your turn radius while grounded. And then grounded claws gain increased turning, but lose flying speed. Metabolism, we have hyper carnivore, only able to eat meat, food drains much slower. And then scavenger, eat meat, fish, carrion and bones, fast food and water drain. For hide, we have our standard, which does nothing. Royal Safeguard increases armor by 10% and stamina recovery rate on the ground. Matted Feathers increases flight control and flying stamina. Legs, we have Minoan Slash, a heavy claw attack with both claws that does medium bleed and high damage, only usable when sprint flying. Assyrian Slam, a small damage stomp attack that does AoE and knockback, only usable when grounded and standing still. 
it is not really small damage it does like medium damage but i've just let you know back limb barrel roll quickly dart forward and a roll damaging things in your path only usable while fast flying heraldic wings increases jump height and air control jesus jumping stamina costs spartan kick a kick with your back feet does knock back in a small amount of damage only usable when sprint flying like so we're kicking while flying might as well just make a pegasus at this point <laughs> skydiver decreases fall damage that's pretty useful this guy is very susceptible to fall damage and then our voice calls we have flannix screech decrease incoming damage by five percent of every griffin feline and bird in your group within 30 meters for 45 seconds stacks up to five times only works while in a group roman war cry increase your attack by 40 percent for 20 seconds only usable when not in a group and went out of combat that's wild 40 percent attack increase and then wrath of olympus increased damage of every griffin feline and bird in your group by five percent for 30 seconds stacks up to five times only usable when in a group so these are pretty decent they're not op abilities but they're enough to kind of get you going all right let's go through our ability animations first up we have peck it's basically just a regular bite and it has a pretty low cooldown next is rip and tear it's just a longer bite, has a longer cooldown, but it does bleed. After that is claw attack. It's a pretty quick claw attack, very similar to like the Smilodon mods claw attack. That also does bleed though. Next one is Assyrian slam. It's pretty nice. It's a very quick stomp. You really don't have any time to get out the way with it just because of how fast it is. Next we have Minoan slash. There's a big front-handed claw attack. One more time, Minoan Slash. Yeah, just a big grabbed claw attack. Our next one is Barrel Roll. Very nice, similar to Draco Viper. It's very cute. See, one more time, Barrel Roll. And it's a very short animation. Next, we have Spartan Kick. Oh, it kicks in the front. I thought it was going to kick in the back, but it kicks in the front. One more time, Spartan Kick. Wow, that looks kind of weird, but it's cool because it does knock back. Then we have Roman Roar Cry. And that's a 40% damage increase, which is wild. And then lastly, we have Wrath of Olympus, which is a 5% damage increase, but you have to be in a group and it's for every griffin in your group or other bird or flyer. And that's about it for the griffin mod, guys. My opinion on it is that it is very nice to look at. It just melts together so well. The skins are fantastic. You have decent flying speed. You're not the fastest, but you have decent flying speed. Your stamina is a little bit struggling. So you guys need to be mindful of your stamina usage with the Griffin, but the recovery is pretty quick. It has decent land speed. It's not the fastest again, but it's not the slowest either. You can really see the inspiration or the little bits and pieces from other previously made mods by the X Argula team. So it is definitely kind of a love child, sort of a testament to all the experience that the modders have gained over their time with it. Otherwise though, I love flying with this. It feels very smooth. But yeah, the Griffin mod is definitely a good mod for something that's supposed to be land and air based. And I would definitely check this out, play it. But if you like this video, definitely check out some of my other videos. I cover a lot of other different mods and I cover games that you might not have heard of. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.